There will also be plenty of good college basketball action this Super Bowl weekend. We have a big game at Old Dominion tomorrow night with less than 10 games left in the season. And thanks to their win over Florida International last night, ODU is now in a three-way tie for second place in the Conference USA standings. But it does not appear anybody is going to catch Middle Tennessee. The reigning conference champions are unbeaten in the conference so far. While ODU is in a three-way tie in second along with Louisiana Tech in Alabama, Birmingham. Now, this is important because the top four teams in the conference at the end of the season receive a first round bye in next month's conference tournament. Tomorrow night, ODU will host Florida Atlantic, a team that has struggled this season, but the Owls are riding a two game winning streak. Every game's big. The coach always says, big game this week, big game, but every game's big. We need all the wins we can. Everything that we can't control will fall into place with other teams losing and whatnot. It is a big game, trying to keep pace with, with uh, you know, the teams that we're tied with and, and those that are just a game or two ahead of us. You know, it's, it's a conference race, and every game matters right now. Florida Atlantic beat Florida International by 18 points last Thursday. And while Old Dominion is balanced and rebounds well, they need to score more points. Hopefully that will happen tomorrow night. Did you hear? It's a big game. Meanwhile, William and Mary is having no problem scoring points. The Tribe manhandled Northeastern last night 94-69. Coach Tony Shaver's team has won four games in a row, and they've done it by a combined 82 points. Senior Daniel Dixon led the tribe for the third time in the last four games with 28 points, a team high seven rebounds, and four assists compared to zero turnovers. Junior Greg Malinowski added 14 points on five of nine shooting. The big man pairing of junior Jack Whitman and freshman Nathan Knight each scored in double figures finishing with 11 and 10 points respectively. Coach Shaver, your guys have picked a great time to get hot. Offensively, we're fun to watch. I mean, I, people that weren't in this building tonight miss something. I'll tell you that. Uh, it's, um, I think, in our last four games, and I may be off a little bit, but we've had 23, 20, 28, and 27 assists as a ball club. I mean, we really share the ball. Really fun to, to watch us play the way we are. People who like to define William and Mary as a Princeton offense never watch us play. Uh, we're very good in the open court. Now it's on the road for William & Mary at Towson tomorrow. You can see the game on Comcast Sportsnet Mid-Atlantic. The Norfolk State basketball team is also on the road, still in the top four in the MEAC standings. The Spartans head down to Orangeburg tomorrow to take on South Carolina State. Norfolk State riding a five-game winning streak thanks to outstanding play by Jonathan Wade, who is averaging over 22 points a game.